Good morning, everyone. My name is Mary, Mary Fayo. And my idea is around quality standards at the Child Health Information Hub, which is CHIH. I'll just quickly talk you through my journey. What CHIH means to me, I'm passionate, proud, and I'm privileged to work for the Hub and also for CLCH. I think what we do is absolutely amazing. And what I want to show you and ask you guys today <coughs> excuse me, is, is quality at the heart of everything we do? Is quality really important to us? I tried to do a use symbol and sort of monitor the standards we have for emails, letters, and faxes. Um, this was a jump too far. I realized it's going to take me a really long time. And so I sat down with my seniors and my managers. Uh, and we came up with 10 questions, a survey of 10 questions to explore adherence to process and perception. This survey was sent out to 40 people and we had 25 responses. The question around this survey and also the question that I want to throw to you guys as I run through this presentation today is, do we deliver a world-class service? What is a world-class service? How do we measure it? And more importantly, how can we ensure that each staff member is delivering the service? Quickly run through my objectives. So this was to try and put a quality framework to measure the quality of service delivered by the hub staff members. The aim is to help managers to understand the key development areas of their staff and to be able to support and put measures in place to increase experience, process, and quality of service. Looking at standardized working practice to ensure everyone is consistent with the approach. And like I mentioned about the survey, is to find out if staff members know what the standard is, are they following the standard? We have the CLCH has its own customer care standards. Are they following these standards? And most importantly, again, are they working in line with the CLCH values and goals? I'll just take you through to the uh, three for the, um, survey questions and before I move on, I believe, as I mentioned with this, uh, the standards and the goals, I believe we have our own quality goals as a company, uh, but this will be looking at it on a localised level uh, to, make, to ensure that everybody is delivering the best of service. So quickly look at the results. 81% of respondents didn't know where the quality accounts were located. This is very concerning. If they don't know where their reports go to, their hard work, if they don't know where it's kept within the company, it is worrying uh, because they wouldn't know how to improve on it. 56 of respondents didn't know the response time to acknowledge a written complaint. If a customer or a client calls to make a complaint, they don't know when to close off that complaint, how to deal with it. Um, and so I feel that this is also concerning as well. Our repetition is very important and we don't want anything negative being said about us. And so I believe that this is one of the areas we really need to pay attention to. 28% attended the training course in customer service and 33% attended conflict resolution. Once again, out of the 25 respondents, only half of these guys attended these courses. Again, it goes to show that we're lacking in the customer service area. We need to be able to attend these services. We need to look at how we can push our staff to attend these services to benefit them. 40% of staff members are aware of all key factors required in delivering excellent customer service, which is the customer care standards. Like I mentioned, CLCH has got a customer care standards. 40% of the hub staff members out of the 25 respondents felt that they know what the standards are. It's not yet hard. It's not yet 50%. I'm sure we can, again, find a way to push this across to increase our knowledge of our customer care standards. Everyone identified that they're motivated by task, teamwork, and also their colleagues. Once again, it goes to show that people love the environment, they like working with people, that they enjoy it. <coughs> I looked at Brandon, um, how we could help push our values and goals. Um, in order for our staff members to live and breathe our values, uh, they need positive and effective branding around quality, 
relationship and community. Already as you log on to the CLC page in your workplaces, we already have our visions showing up on the screen. I believe, and we also have posters around our workplace, I believe we can push this, we can make the message much more sharper, much more in your face so that these guys can remember it and work in line with it. Also, we can look at things like department quizzes just to check our knowledge around these values, how well we're working. So there is a lot that we can do to make sure that obviously the CLCH branding, our customer care standards are across. Um, lastly, quality monitoring and telephone conversation. I believe this will help this will help you understand the staff performance and information delivered. Um, in order to progress CLCH, we'll need to, this is suggesting, invest in a recording system. So, we don't have a recording system in place at the moment, um, and this is one thing that I spoke to my manager about. A recording system can help us improve the quality of service we deliver. If we, for example, once again have a complaint, we can go back to the complaint, listen up on the call, or check what information was delivered. And so therefore, I believe a reporting system can help us check with the quality of service we deliver. Next steps and results. Moving forward, um, I would want to work with all departments to devise the quality forms for emails, letters, and faxes. Also, a green workshop to address skills, learning gaps from survey. Uh, agree reporting frequency and format for demonstrating complaints. Agree best practice and vision of the hub, which is CHIH, board class service. Brief performance management framework for the hub staff members. And also discuss possibilities of introducing a core reporting system um, to measure the quality of conversation delivered. Um, I think also some, this is something that I spoke to my manager about that managers have got to sort of maybe draw close to their staff members to know exactly what they do, how they feel about their job, and whether there are areas of concern within themselves and the job that they're doing, to be able to sort of push this as well. Workshops, training can sort of push this uh, vision across as well. Um, you know, everyone may have a different vision. You know, what is your vision of world class service for CRCH? What is my vision? I believe it has to be one. We have to have one standard to be able to deliver uh, quality service. Um, and yeah, this is my um, idea and I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Any questions at all? You guys can throw in questions at me. Yes, um, we plan to have, at the moment there is a standard in place, um, there isn't a strong sort of template for example um, in place for us to use as one. Usually what tends to happen with emails and faxes is unless you're going into detail, everyone tends to sort of have their own way of responding or you know, forming things up to send other departments. So having a standard, having a template, a standardised template uh, or forms to use as one to sort of help work it out, that was your question. Yeah? Yes? Do you have any theories to why um, the uptake for the public resolution and customer services calls is so low? Yes. Um, we're thinking to have a um, dashboard. Uh, can you repeat that again for me, please? Do you, know, do you have any theories to know why it's so low for people attending those courses? Um, <coughs> I, the reason why people might not be able to attend these courses, and again, I know every workplace is different, and they may have things that you know come across to stop them from attending these courses. Um, Again, we, we, may, we may need to be a bit more flexible around their working practice and also you know, being able to 
maybe take them out of work or if they have any personal um, responsibilities. Again, work around and maybe have evening sort of training or workshops to help people. So there might be things within, their, within themselves or the workplace that stop them from going to these courses. And I believe maybe we need to be a bit more flexible to get them to attend the courses more. Did that answer your question? Yeah. Any more?